Hi guys, and welcome to a new weekly vlog. Good afternoon, hello. It's Monday afternoon, it's 12.30. We have had a slow start to the day. Five. We were meant to go for a meeting this morning or to do a fitting for our Derby Day outfits. Um, but I've been having really bad headaches and migraines. Um, my teeth got fixed last week, as you guys would have seen. I've um, got migraines and bonding, but my plate that I sleep with at night time, my um, retainer. retainer, doesn't fit anymore um, and I clench while I sleep so my, I've been having really bad headaches and jaw's been sore so we didn't go this morning um, and then so we had, went to Pilates at 11 um, which was really good with Kiara and then she's fantastic she's really good um, and then we just got ready and now we we're had going a to, to the city baby wipe shower baby wipe shower quick shower baby wipe um, and now we're on our way to the city to shoot with Katie. We've got two, three outfits to shoot. Um, two of them are sponsored. One is this outfit here by a brand called Saints the Label. It um, is an offshoot brand of Mesop. Um, that's what I'm looking back to confirming. That's correct. Um, and Mesop's been around for years. So, um, yeah, it's a new, like, more trend focused brand. But very, like, Lifestyle, lifestyle like comfy pieces. Wear. Yeah, so comfy pieces. So like luxe loungewear. Yeah, so I've got this wrap top, which is really nice, and this kind of blush. Oh, blush. It's, blush. Not, it's not a blush. It's like a peach. It is blush. It's blush pink. I would say more of like a mauvey blush. So I guess it's, it's not a like a blush. pink blush. It's more of like a mauvey blush. Anyway, and Beck's got a, a similar matching pair of tra uh, like trousers. High waisted. Um, high waisted. Peg leg pants. Peg -like pants. Um, so that's our first sponsored post. They're paying us to do a photo on Instagram. Um, our second one is um, we did a shoot a couple weeks back, or maybe a month ago now, with Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren in Sydney, as we would have showed you guys when going to Sydney for their shoot with Who What Where. Um, and photos turned out really nicely, but they're not conducive, conducive to our page aesthetic. So, we're, so we're, re shoot, we're reshooting two photos. We've already posted one. We're reshooting two photos to put on our Instagram page. Um, so it's more on our aesthetic with like 10 buildings in the background. And you guys know our aesthetic. So. Street style. Street style. So it matches in with our feed and looks really seamless and beautiful. Um, so we're doing that as well. And then we're just doing a salt, uh, duo outfit that's very like chill, kind of just thrown together. I've got these really cool new pants from a brand called Forward the Label. Um, they're actually mine. They've they got the two piece. It's a tr matching trousers and top. And um, I got this dress. So I'm shooting the pants with like a white tee and a sandal. Sorry, excuse me, I have to have coffee really quickly. Um, and then we're going to Charles Rose Jewelers, which is in the city up the road afterwards, um, to just look at some pieces potentially to wear to the Spring Racing Carnival, um, some jewelry or diamonds if we want to. We're not massive diamond fans as jewelry, I guess. Like, we're more, not costume jewelry, but we're like chunky, like, you know, our fine jewelry. We're chunky gold wearers. Yeah, so, but we'll see what they have. They, have really, they do have really, really beautiful pieces. And they are more fashion focused Charles Rose. Um, so we'll just check it out, see if we like anything. And because they've, they've extended an offer for us to loan pieces if we'd like to, um, which is very kind of them. So we'll be doing that and then coming home and doing work. So yeah, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, we are back from shooting and from Charles Rose and all our escapades. Got some delivery, which I'm gonna open. So I've got two parcels. One is from Senso, which is this one, which we need to send off. We need to return two pairs of shoes that were the wrong size. They just sent us the correct size, which we need to send back tomorrow. We do all our post stuff. So we've got two pairs. Um, this one is called Ebony. It's in the black Tyra color. And we've also got a size 40. We've got 39, that is too small. So. Um, this is like a black suede or black velvet. Really, really beautiful. Classic stiletto. Marissa might wear, might wear this to Derby Day. Just really pretty. Miss Kimmy, I'm trying to mind and remove all the pack, flatten the boxes and stuff. And then I got these um, maroon little mules, reminiscent of the Manolo Blonics. Um, really cute. Little like here that goes in a bit. Got them in 40 as well in like this beautiful Bordeaux color. The right color? Oxblood. Yeah. Bord Oxblood Bordeaux. I also got size 40 because 39 is too small. Um, just trying them on now. Right. And then we got another package from House of CB. House of CB sent us another parcel. I think they'll send us everything in differently installments because they're probably going to have their product deliveries. 
This is the Gabby Black Crepe Tailored Blazer. Oh, yeah. So. Size 12, I think. Medium. I'll try it on. Let's just snip off this little taggy bit tag. I can't see what it looks like, but... Ooh, I like it. It's like a nice oversized. It, um... You need to move this... You need to put a hole here. But it's got a bit of sash and lapel, satin on the inside. Very slinky and pretty. And then we've got a t-shirt from Polly Ralph Lauren for their Pink Pony campaign for, to support breast cancer awareness. Or pink breast Pony cancer. and Pink Pony? Pink Pony. <gasps> I thought it was Pink Peony because I'm a dumbass. But it's actually Pink Pony because it's Ralph Lauren Pony. Obviously. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, don't know what else to say. See you guys later. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. It's not that early. I'm just really tired. We are shooting um, for one of our clients, Fast Content. Taking some content for them. I'll show you. The rest is just shooting in the... Sorry, that was really bumpy in the background. Just there. Um, but, yes, yeah, I just want to say hello. It's like 10 o'clock, I think. We have so much work to get through today. It's ridiculous. Also, sorry, I got pimple cream on my face. I keep getting these, like, pimples in the corner of my lip, and I don't know why. It's really frustrating. But I'll show you what Marissa's doing. So, so what Marissa's doing. Taking photo. Wow, it's really blue here. Um, but taking photos to Tusk and Tan. Um, we're doing little smearies and whatever the product. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning. It's 9.49 in the morning. We are on our way now. We've got a relatively busy day. Just more like outside of the house busy. Um, we're going to Entrecote. Um, take some photos, which Beck's got the lipstick off as well. Yep, take the camera and everything. Get a new patch at all. Um, let's take some photos for a page job we're doing with Clarins. Um, and did I say something about that? No. It's lipstick effects we're wearing already. I think we've spoken about this. I feel like we're going to get it. I spoke about it in Sydney. That's right. But that photo we posted from shirt didn't get approved because it wasn't close up of the lipstick, which is kind of like... So we have to, that's fine because we'll, we'll use it anyway because um, Beck was wearing an outfit by a brand that gifted us the outfit. So it's fine. We'll post it anyway. Um, but yes, I'm like, I'm having deja vu while I'm speaking about this. Yeah, so we've already spoken about the lipsticks before. They're really great. Jolly Rouge Brilliant. They're like lipstick, lip balmy texture. Really nice and hydrating. They have a really nice sheen, a wash of colour as well. The Jolly Rouge Velvet, I don't like as it's much. It's too dry. Really, very dry. I so. don't, we, we don't like matte lipsticks. Like, I, just, I just don't like matte lipsticks. My lips are already dry just in general. Like, I already have dry lips just so if in you're general. a matte lipstick wearer, then you'd love them. It's like, it's kind of like how our skin's dry and we don't really like matte foundations. Oh, yeah. But I'm for example, right yeah, but for example, the Too Faced Comfort, Comfort Matte is a different kind of matte so we can wear them. You know, there's always exceptions to the rules. We don't really like matte because... It depends how you prime and prep your skin. Yeah, anyway. So we're doing that and then afterwards we are going to visit Harmony from Hexi. She's designing our dresses for Derby Day. So we're doing a final fitting, um, and which is very nice. She lives, in, she lives like near High Street Armadale. And then we're going to visit the office space or potential office space for us. Um, we'll probably be going in there one day a week um, after this racing carnival. And then after that, um, we are Trump going. Off yeah, we need to go to APR and no, not APR. We need to go to Mimco, drop some stuff off, and then go to APR. We are picking up some outfits to wear to a H&M and Machino event. They're very loud outfits. The H&M team are there. And the HM team met there to meet us. Um, we haven't seen them in a while, so it'll be nice to catch up with them. Um, but yeah, their outfits are really loud. We'll show you. They're very just like not twice blessed. Oh, but they are. But they some of them are like this really like awesome like bougie twice blessed, like good metallic gold leather jacket. I'm like twice blessed. But other things are very. It's very machino. So it's kind of cool. gaudy. It's gaudy, but it's still cool. So um, there's an event, they've got a launch event next week. Um, so just picking up, they want dresses as well, so picking up the outfits to wear. Um, but yeah, it should be really fun. Looking forward to it. Um, but we'll take you guys along.
uh, just finished taking photos at Entrecote. I'm sure I asked because we haven't done that yet. And I really like my outfit. Well, I don't know. Yours is cooler than mine does. But oh, thanks. Anyway, we'll show outfits. She's wearing a country road blazer, double breasted blazer, Gucci belt, new Zara jeans that we purchased in Sydney. Very nice. Um, these are wedges by Unsure Shoe Brand. We will let you know. Yeah, they're made in Spain though. Bag by Pauline. Little bag tassel by Bellini Shoes. Bellini Shoes. Yay. And this is Beck's outfit. She is wearing a jacket by Kit X, the suede, beautiful trench coat we got from their sale last week. White t-shirt from Assembly Label. It's very matrixy. I like it though. Um, my Chanel walk bag with skinny black jeans from Zara and Zara little slingbacks. What would make this absolutely better if these jeans were mum jeans? All of our stuff and I just got back. Move your foot out of here, Mesa. No one wants to see your foot. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Um, so. And still and they're mine. on my face. Clouds on my face. So oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six deliveries. So I'm gonna open them with you quickly. Quickly as possible because there's lots to get through today. But I'll show you this stuff first. First, there's a parcel that we got a sorry we missed your card while we're in. Like this. always. Like always. But it's that if they delivered this to 7 Eleven in a four form, it's like their safe drop parcel thing. It was really quite bizarre. But anyway, got the sec the we showed you the white shirt dress from House C B. And then yesterday we got the blazer. And this is the other two pieces that I requested. It's so funny! <laughs> it's so funny, I'm gonna die! So it's so fluffy! What's so brown? Brown. Oh, it's really warm. I wish it was like Alaskan temperatures right now for me to wear this. Um, I got this beautiful teddy bear coat. I'm gonna try and check it in so I can show you. <gasps> What's well, actually it's really quite nice, it's silky on the inside. Ooh. It's like this teddy bear. Ooh, it's got a cool backstrap as well. Check Brown. It's got the little like Ooh, gold thingy majiggy. Press studs. It'd be good to like layer, but it's lightweight. Next, I got. Um, I can't remember what this was. Got a bodysuit. Just a beautiful bodysuit, actually. Ooh, that's Pretty. But it's in this blush pink. I don't know who asked for this. It looks nice with jeans. It would look great with jeans. Really, really pretty. The blazer they had on a here. medium. Um, that's really, really nice. It's got the beautiful like satin like sleeves. Anyway, next we got 360 PR. I delivered from them, which African black soap. Oh, the black soap. So it's healing African black soap, which in vitamin A and E, which heals and softens the skin. Sourced from all natural, organic, and sustainable ingredients, the range is formed with, without the added sulfates, parabens, and other synthetic ingredients found in many other skincare products. Great. So we got the Shea Moisture African Face Soap. So we got this is a face soap um, for severely dry skin. We got a African black soap balancing moisturizer. Um, got tea tree oh, oil so for blemish prone skin. And we got clarifying facial wipe, which is really good. So I'll show you those ones. And another raw shea butter soap with frankincense and myrrh extracts. Like Jesus got when he was born. Just throw it in there. Next, we got a replacement dress for Marissa from Bicane. Is that this one? Yes. I'm not gonna open that one up for you guys because you're in for that dress. Then we got two pairs of shoes for the, from the Iconic, which are our races shoes. Hopefully we purchase these um, with our money. 
so first I gotta prep the pop shop one. I'm praying these look good because oh they look small. They look beautiful but very small. They should be the right size. They're a 39, but they look small. Top of always has always fit me in a 39. They look stunning. That colour is perfect. What's that? Can you just try them on me? So there's those, which looks really pretty. And then Miss got a pair um, by a brand called, oh, a brand called Misguided. <laughs> so um, a little brand. Just a little brand that we heard of called Misguided. Um, this like metallic pink pair with like a sling, I mean, like a um, ankle strap and just like a classic like little toe strap arena. They're on sale. The good thing with the, they're on sale, they're like 40 bucks. The good thing with the funny, we're going to return it if we don't feel like we could tip our outfits. Yes. That's really nice. Good. Parcel from Louisa that was I think just dropped off because all eyes on you from Louisa. Dear Beck and Rose, we hope you are well. Please find a few of our favourites for you. We hope you enjoy them this racing season. P.S. We are online now. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god, Louisa is online. That's sick. Doesn't Louisa always be online? No. Oh. So backstory. Louisa, you can't see me. You can hear me. Um, I actually purchased Louisa earrings. They're really good because they're really fashion forward, but like $20. So they're good for like on trend pieces. <laughs> they're good for like on trend pieces that, um, <gasps> or like if you've got an event, you don't spend, you don't spend $100 on a pair of earrings. Oh, Melbourne Cup. Pretty. So they let us into some headwear. Thank you so much. They got set as headwear and lots of bows. So we got oh, one, two, cool. three, four. Oh, lots of headpieces. <gasps> Thanks, Lavisa. Oh. That's not their color one suit. The wrong color. But it'll suit you. No, wrong color. That mm. mine's grass green. So we got two of these little like pearly ones. Okay. These aren't focusing, but got some of the cool headpieces. Oh, <gasps> yay! Ooh. This is like a bobo. That look pretty with my pink. Yeah, it's it's a purple, purple bobo. Ooh, a purple bobo. There's another little like, Ooh. this is just a, like a bibbin. Very like I could do that though. Oh, let's draw up one. And then some net head pieces. Wow, thank you so much, Lavisa. This Obviously, it's very low price point, but they're 70 70 pieces, which is really awesome. You can't do glasses. <laughs> you can't see. Oh, it's a head band. That's kind of cool. That's nice. Thanks, Lavisa. Um. Different colors, great. Oh, pink, perfect. But like oak stay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lavisa. That's this on your <gasps> really cute. Look, it's so pretty. I love that. That's awesome. I want to see. Oh, look here. Oh, oh. oh let's leave up the earrings. Oh, god. <gasps> earrings there we go look at this cute those earrings so guys we're big advocates like i don't see if you're going to not try to be on trend i don't see the point in spending a lot of money on jewelry um stick to your price point but they're perfect literally they match these miss ones, found her shit her earrings look at these ones you can't see them because it's not gonna focus this person was just fat head <laughs> stop it Oh, thanks so much, Lavisa. That's actually the best. Like, it's like good because for us, we have things now like, oh, we can match all this stuff. It's like bad for them because like they might not actually use anything or like who knows if you're gonna be wearing purple or whatever. But like, yeah. But that's really generous of them. Thanks so much. Because yeah, now we can think this will actually help us style everything else. Like for example, um, now that I'm gonna be wearing these earrings to Derby Day at the Mama Cup, I know I've got these. These should match perfectly, and maybe a bag I can wear is a similar kind of pink metallic, or a headpiece that I can find that will tie in well. Or, for example, um, like twenty of pieces we can wear that already existing outfit. So that's really generous of them. Thank you so much. It's fantastic. Really appreciated. Next, it wasn't a delivery. We went to um, we didn't couldn't show you. We went to uh, AMPR, which is a fashion agency PR agency in Melbourne. They look after. Um, Variety of brands. Variety of brands. They're doing the H&M Machino launch party next week. And they invite us to come in and get some pieces to wear. Now, the pieces are really extra, really, like, in your face. 
But um, I'll show you what we got. Um, this is one of them. This cute little machine and a jacket bag. So it's a handbag. If you guys remember correctly, I have this in a phone case. Um, but for my old smaller phone. Um, yeah. But this one from Shop Up a year and a half, two years ago. And they've done it for the H&M collab in a little, um, little like bum bag style. So it's kind of like tiny. Um, I don't know if I can do it as a bum bag. It's going to be too hard. But anyway, super cute. Marissa got this freaking sick leather jacket. It's um, super cool. It's so heavy and really, really plush. But it's metallic gold, as you can see. Metallic gold. Um all the bells and whistles got the like rope detailing through here got a waistband with a little buckle um it is super cool i'd actually wear this mm. it's amazing so i think we're just gonna wear it with like, a little like black that's like, white t-shirt and black like just flare trousers because it's really simple because it's like you don't need to do much with this because it's just like jacket um i got a Sort of like a tracky style um, sports jacket, sports jacket. Um, like collar, got all like the beading on it. It was kind of like chains, super cool. Um, got some pearls on it, which I'm going to wear that with like um, a slip dress and like a bum bag and just stilettos. And then they gave us some earrings as well. These are the earrings, the Love Machino collaboration with H&M earrings. As well as, I'll show you one earring. As well as one of the other earrings. Like a little like clip-on earring. Super, super cool. And we've got a belt as well. But that's just in here. And I can't put taking it out. So, that's that. Anyway, very see you guys point. tomorrow. Hey guys, so as promised by Beck from yesterday. Today is Thursday. Um, I'm just going to show you the Leo and Lynn pieces we got on the tripod. So, yeah, I just came back from the dentist. And I got my teeth finalized. So I got the resin bond bonding put my bottom two teeth. To, oh, I need the bottom four teeth actually to make them match. Because um, I had a chipped tooth. These two cracked teeth were chipped. So I grind my teeth and um, my old dentist filed it down. Um, and because when she filed it down, my teeth were overlapped. It looked straight. But when they straightened out, it's actually diagonal. So, um... Got it fixed, which is really nice. And then he just um, finished off this one here. My teeth are really thin. My front four teeth are very thin. So there is a slight gradient you can see. But that's just the way it is. I don't mind, really. I finally have adult teeth. Yay. So very happy. And then you go back tomorrow morning quickly because I sleep with the splint in because um, I clench and, gl and grind. Um, and they don't fit currently because I've got different size teeth now. So I'm gonna go in tomorrow and he's gonna just trim my current um, retainers um, just so they fit on my, my molars. Um, and then next week, hopefully when Beck gets her teeth done on Thursday, I'll be able to pick up my new splint that I can sleep with. So yeah, but anyway, let's show you this stuff. So I hope I'm in focus. I think I am. Yeah, great. So I got a letter from them. Packaging is really nice. Wow. I must have typed this, but it looks handwritten. Here's a little gift from us here at Leo and Lynn. We hope you like it. We can't wait to see you in them. Congratulations on all your success, and we wish you more stuff to come. Thank you very much, guys. It's very sweet of you. So, got a couple of pieces. The first one is this beautiful grey charcoal coat. Um, very nice. It's got this beautiful pin. Is that the button? Oh, it's oh yeah, it's the pretend button, but it's just a snap pin. So it's got it's charcoal coat with like a pink, red, and like a green stitch through it. That's really lovely. Also got the matching trousers, which are a peg leg trouser. Also got it looks like a shirt, a white cropped shirt that ties at the back. Um, with like a faux collar. It's got no buttons, but it's a faux collar. And then a pair of tan wide leg palazzo pants, the silver D-ring. They've got a white stitching through the center. 
white sand through the center, which is really cool. So thanks so much, Leo and Lynn. Hey guys, so it's later on in the day now. On Thursday, we just hit PT and we're on the way now. Bex here. Hi. We're on the way now to the QT in the city in Brussels Street. It's a hotel if you don't know what the QT is. Um, we are there going there for a meeting. We are doing a non-paid, but it's not sponsored, um, a Instagram takeover for the Instagram stories for Derby Day next week. They hold a Derby Day breakfast every single year since they've been open. So this will be the third year yeah. they've done it and we've gone every single year. It's always Train. the best. It's a really good start to the spring racing carnival calendar period. period. Um, so we're going to be doing an Instagram story takeover on the QT's Instagram page um, for the day. Um, the breakfast is in partnership with Vogue GQ and GQ and also there's a few other sponsors as well. So it'll be really fun. Um, we really love the QT. We stay there frequently as you would have seen, seen in Sydney last week. We stay there um, and they're really awesome to us. We always can stay there whenever we need to, do shoots there, etc, etc. So going in the city now, it's 1.30. Um, my glasses are sitting in my face really weird, aren't they? Yeah. What's up with that? Next glasses are sitting really weird in my face. But anyhoozy, um, we'll touch base when we're there, if not when we get back. Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon. It's three o'clock. Um, I have just come back from Pilates. I went to church this morning um, and I'm going to go for a walk because it's a really nice day outside. I um, just wanted to touch base and say hello. Um, church was amazing this morning. We had an itinerant pastor come around called Lucas Connell. He's based in San Diego now, but he's originally from Melbourne and the Gold Coast. Um, we had him come down. It was fantastic. Um, he shared a really great message about um, being lost in the world, but also lost in religion and how um, being, no matter how long you've been a Christian for or you've been faith-based for, um, it's you can also be lost in your religion and you can be lost doing things religiously in a way to try and please God and to try and um make god happy and make god and aspire for god's love and his acceptance um without realizing that god you don't need to do anything god loves you as you are so it was a really amazing message it was kind of like one of those ones you're like yeah this is just so good so practical so relatable um and it was it was great and he shared his testimony and how um he was a drug addict a junkie from the age of 16 years old um almost od almost took his own life um, and how in an instant God transformed his life and he was cured from addiction in a second and it was amazing It was really really great to um, to hear so church was awesome had a quick lunch afterwards a quick kind of like energy booster So I'm trying to put socks on as well, um, and then I went straight to Pilates like I changed in the car Literally um, on the way like driving at traffic lights. I was like pulling my jeans off and stuff um, Did KX Pilates which is great um, Feeling super strong at the moment, which is good. Um, but just kind of, I want to pick up my cardio sort of um, 
intake, I guess, my cardio per week just because I want to still be really strong but not get really muscular, which is I want to do that as well, but also still be really lean. So um currently need to start walking a bit more because working from home unfortunately you don't walk that much. You kind of do minimal steps per day, which is why we gained weight after going full time for ourselves because we're at home, you'd walk to your fridge or to your desk or to the bathroom and that's all the walking you do all day and you get trapped of being on your computer all day um, and not walking and moving your body enough. So yeah, it's a lovely day, it's sunny, it's like 20 degrees outside, I'm gonna chuck some sunglasses on, chuck my runners on and listen to a podcast. Actually, I might try and update my Spotify playlists, see. Watch. If you guys have some really good Spotify playlists, let me know below because I've currently listen, I'm currently listening to like Mood Booster and another one, Weeby Vibin. But I want something like fresh and new. So like, let me know if you have any suggestions. Anyway, I am going to go, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Hey guys, totally back from a walk now. Totally. Back from a walk now, you're sitting precariously, very precariously, but just wanted to come back on here. I'm gonna sign off now. Um, tomorrow we're just doing shoots and I'm doing counseling. So I'm going to premarital counseling my boyfriend and that's about it. So we will touch base with you guys tomorrow morning in the next weekly vlog, obviously. Um, but, Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, hope you have a lovely week, and we'll see you in the next weekly vlog.